Suddenly, supply chain management is everywhere. Presidents of countries are using the word supply chain management regularly in their speeches and their proclamations. Companies are um, also using the word supply chain management so often in their talks and discussions. Uh, many companies are appointing supply people with uh, supply chain experience as their chief executive officers or CEOs. For example, um, the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, is a supply chain person. So an immediate question is, what is supply chain management and why do all these people um, think that supply chain management is something that is going to make a huge difference for countries and companies these days? So let's get this question to a simple perspective. Every course that we study in a business school, whether it's marketing or finance, tries to help the company achieve its business objective in some way. So marketing helps achieve business objective by targeting the right customers and ensuring that the targeted customers are satisfied. Finance uh, maybe helps companies achieve their objective by ensuring that the funds needed by the company are available at the lowest cost and also by probably investing the excess funds in the right particular manner. Supply chain management achieve, helps a company achieve uh, its objectives by controlling and managing three flows. Three flows are uh, cash flow, material flow, and information flow. So before I go further, let's dis distinguish between supply chain and supply chain management. Supply chains always exist. And they existed even 300, 400, 500 years ago. So for example, as the picture shows, a restaurant. A restaurant buys material from different kinds of suppliers. They buy energy from an energy supplier. They buy directly or indirectly some farm products through a farmer, they would have poultry products, meat products, so they buy a lot, a lot of these products and they supply them to customers or um, their patrons who come in to have delicious food. So a restaurant has a supply chain. Um, all manufacturing companies have supply chains. Now, the difference is not all these supply chains are managed or actively controlled or monitored by businesses. The supply chain management is about actively controlling and monitoring selective flows or selective portions of the supply chain where we manage or control the three flows, cash flow, material flow, and information flow. So an immediate question that we get now um, is, is this only about manufacturing? Oh, definitely not. So a university, for example, has supply chain or can use supply chain management. So think of it this way. A university gets an input of students or prospective students who are probably need education. So they are uneducated or, or uneducated in that particular area. So uh, they have students and the university processes them and adds education and what we get the outcome is educated students so that there's a supply chain right there there's more supply chain so university gets knowledge which already exists the professors use existing knowledge and create new knowledge and give that knowledge to the external world and they file patents they write textbooks they write academic papers so, so there are multiple supply chains that exist even in the university and the university can choose to manage. So, so a teaching university, which is focused on teaching, chooses to manage the student flow and uh, supply chain. They, they, want, they, they focus on that. A research university might focus on the knowledge flow supply chain more than the student flow supply chain. Uh, does a bank have supply chain? Oh, yes, it definitely does. So, so we have depositors who are suppliers of money and we have uh, the people who want loans or customers who want loans are customers of that money. Um, so that, that's one supply chain and they can choose to what kind, what kind of, do I want to focus on salaried individuals to deposit money on my bank? Do I want to focus on business people to deposit money on my bank? And what kind of loans do I want to focus on? So here, a 
a bank can also choose um, what kind of supply chains they want to manage. So, so what we, the, what, what I'm trying to tell you in this initial video is supply chain management, supply chains always exist, but supply chain management is an active choice that companies make that what part of supply chain do they want to manage? And here we say that manage means the three flows, right? Cash flow, material flow, and information flow. And the second point that we make in this video is that supply chain management can be useful not just for manufacturing companies and restaurants, but rather to all kinds of companies, including retailers, banks, and all service companies.